So Canva has just released its new version of the software and they are calling it the Glow Up. So let's take a look at the changes between the old version and the new version. Now, this is a first look at the software for myself too. So let's go over the changes. Now, this is what we see on the old version of Canva. And if you haven't accessed the glow up, this is how you can access it. Now, it is limited to the first 1 million people who have a Canva account. And what you would do is you would come to the home page, canva.com, and right here in this area here, you would click the For You button seven times. So let's give it a try. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. Uh, you found the Canva Glow Up. Turn it on. Not yet. So I'm not going to turn it on, but you're welcome to turn it on on your end. Let's go now to the new version of Canva. And here is the new version. Now, at first glance, it appears to be cleaner, sleeker. Um, the home page isn't that bad, although there are a few changes on the side here on the left panel. We see that the create design button has moved. It used to be up here in this area here. And we see a uh, section underneath with the what's changed. So in this area, it summarizes what's changed between the old version and the new version. Now, if you want to start designs and folders, you can just press a star next to your files. So you could just click the three buttons and select the star. And you'll also see your recent designs in this area here. And familiar in the left sidebar, we have the home projects, templates, brand, and apps. Now we get the purple banner here. It says, see what's new and watch it again. So that means watch your glow up again. And then in the top right corner, we have custom size and we have upload where you can upload your image or photo to start creating your design. Now, I'm just going to um, move over to the side where it says create a design and I will click the button to create a design. Now, this is new uh, and a little bit different. Normally, I just head over to my Facebook post to create design in those measurements and in that blank template. If you know me, that's what I generally do. But uh, in this area, we have suggestions for documents, uh, whiteboard, Facebook posts, and so on and so on. And then in this area here, we have various different templates that are available. I'm just going to go back up to the top and I'll just create a social media post for Facebook. Now, this is my workspace, which is slightly different. Um, do I like this? Not really. I'm finding it very, very white um, and a little difficult uh, on my eyes. Uh, there is a setting where you can set it to uh, dark mode, and that's probably what I am going to be doing. But um, my first impression is that um, it just appears very, very cluttered to me. Now, that's just a personal opinion um, that I'm expressing. Uh, you might find that this really, really nice and neat. Um, now, when I click on my workspace, we see that that left panel disappears and it looks like we have more workspace. But really, this isn't workspace. 
yes, we see that all those other buttons are hidden. Um, so every time we want to use something, we now have to click or um, hover over the button to get access. And with a white background, it's really, really difficult to see the designs, whether it's um, graphics or anything else. I really can't tell what those are. It makes it very, very difficult to read when it's an all white background. Now, um, also to note, uh, one of the main differences is that the Canva toolbar is gone. And now that's incorporated into the floating toolbar, which is up here. Now we still have tools for duplicate and add page. Add a comment is right up here. We see delete page. We see add a background in here. There's position and layers here. And then there are a couple of arrows where we can see the rest of the information, which brings us over here. We have the add page button, so you can quickly add a page, but I don't see the um, slider area where you can slide up and access all the pages. On the side, on the left panel, we have our uh, air sections. We have design elements, text, brand, uploads. And as you see, as I'm navigating through those different areas, it's automatically popping up with the different sections. If I want to go to design, I'll just click that and that will make the side panel remain open while I'm deciding what design to place on my desktop. Now I will quickly place this design on my desktop and like the old Canva, we'll get an option to shuffle colors. And we also note that with the selection of that design, the toolbar has now changed. I've got my background selected. So there's the text that I've selected, more text, and that's just the background. Now with the background, again, I've got the floating toolbar. And in there, I've got all the options that are available for me to use with the background. And again, when I select see all, I'll get a pop up on my right side it used to be on my left side. So it's a little bit of a change, uh, a little bit of a, of a, you know, a curve uh, ball if you're not used to change, but uh, and it's something to get used to. Now, I'm just going to close this for a sec and I'm going to select the text. And again, we will see that there will be a floating toolbar. Here is magic right that's been added to the toolbar. We have the color of the text. Here is the font. And when you click on the font, uh, we get a tiny, tiny, tiny box here, which I really do not like this at all. Uh, but then you get this button at the bottom that says see all. And when you click that, uh, a panel on your right side will open with all of the fonts. Now, uh, also we have some recommended fonts in here, which I don't recall that as being on the old Canva, but maybe I'm wrong. And we also have at the bottom here, upload a font, which is new. That wasn't there before. So that is cool. I'll say that <laughs> at least. And um, so I'll add another page and I will add a shape just to see what the differences are. Okay, so here is a shape and we see that the toolbar has changed once again. Um, and to note here, we can click on the shape. So it looks like with all the options, anything that we'll, we're clicking on the floating toolbar will open up on the right instead of where it used to be on the left. So we have all the different shapes that are available here. We have color, we have the border, um, and this looks like it's separated the corner rounding into a different button 
where before it was incorporated into the border style. Uh, we have the text color, we have, we have font again here, and it goes on and on and on with the rest of the tools. And again, I am not noticing that um, bottom slide a preview section that doesn't look like it's there, but maybe I'm missing it. Maybe it's a setting that needs to be turned on. I don't know. I will head over and I'll place a photo on my desktop now. So I'll just add this photo here. And again, the floating toolbar will, will change. Uh, we have the edit where that used to be right up here. So when I click on edit, we have my right side panel opening up where before again, it was on the left side and all the tools that you are familiar with will be here. So before there was image adjust and crop and rather than those menus going down, they were aligned going across. So you had image, adjust and crop. So uh, with the adjust, it's pretty familiar. It's the same options that we had before. Uh, we have Magic Studio that's all together and we can just move through the Magic Studio options here. We have filters, we have effects, which we are familiar with. We have the apps that are available to use under image. And of course there's more apps in the apps section. And then below we notice that they've moved the crop settings right underneath the main menu. Under crop, we'll notice that there's a section for animate and that'll open up the animate features. Then there'll be the position and layers in here. And underneath position and layers, we'll have more, we'll have copy style and info. Now, if we move over to the left sidebar, it's pretty much the same as it was before. Uh, we have a divider where we have all the apps that we have previously opened. And it looks like the buttons are now more in a grayscale. Uh, they'll be highlighted when you click on them and that will open up the left panel with the options that are available. So before we go, let's take a look at what's at the top. At the top, we have our quick access menu that will take us back to our home page, uh, file, the resize and magic switch. And we have this new button here, uh, editing. Uh, you can edit, make changes. There's an area for commenting to add feedback and there's a view read only mode. Uh, I would imagine that, that if we are selecting that and then we're sharing a template, it would be a view only template. Uh, the other menus up here, which is undo and redo are pretty much the same. And there is the cloud check for just confirming that everything is saved to the cloud. Over on the side, we still have the area where we can name our document. We have our account here, we have analytics, and we have an option to see comments on the current page or add uh, a comment. I guess you can also toggle between current page or any of the other pages. Let's take a look at the share area. It looks pretty much the same to me. When you click more, again, it looks pretty much the same. So what do you think, folks? Is it a yay or a nay? For me, I don't like it. It's too hard on the eyes. To me, it's more seems more cluttered. I feel this some um, new user interface is going to be a little bit more challenging for new users to be able to um, use and familiarize themselves with. Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment below and give me your opinion. I'd love to hear it. And that, my friends, is pretty much it. If you haven't joined my YouTube membership yet, what are you waiting for? 
I'll make designing in Canva easy for you. So if you're new to Canva or you're having difficulties navigating through Canva, join my membership levels. They will be in the join tab and they'll also be in located in a community post as part of my channel. You can also look up on my website, uh, which is listed under my profile for information on the differences between my membership levels. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, hit that subscribe button. If, if you learned anything whatsoever today, press that like button. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so that when new content comes out, you'll be the first to be notified. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye. Until next time.